one. Record this one. Okay. I'll see if it takes it on. Today we're taking on uh, dealing with factors and multiples. So since our next unit is going to be over literally multiplying, you need to know the basics of multiplying. So I skipped over it. You need to ensure that facts are something that we're studying. Facts of, you know, twos all the way through twelves are something you've done in the past. Does anyone know what they think a multiple would be? Ella? A multiple is like if you have a multiplication test, 5 times 2 equals 10. Yes. The multiples are 5 and 2 because that's the number that you're multiplying. Well, actually, you so have it means? just, it's pretty close, but it's, that's actually, those, those are factors. So, so okay. your, your answer is the product, right? 10. I also, Five times two. I also put the number of I put the number of what is sixteen. I appreciate that. High five. Thirty-eight. Good guy. Good guy. Okay, so what what Ella just stated with the five times two, those are factors. Factor times a factor equal a product. We're gonna get into that pretty good in a moment. A multiple, Natalie. How many? Good. So I want you to think about multiples. Oh, Garrett and Gabe, go ahead and take a seat. Multiples are getting bigger. So nine times one would be nine, then 18, 27, 36, 45. Natalie, go clip up. So let's take note of what our multiples are. I have, actually, whenever we're talking about multiples, I call multiple monster because your multiples start to get bigger. I have examples of over here on my anchor chart. This will live in my classroom, around the room, all year long. It makes numbers bigger. I would. Like the twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Those are multiples. Gabe. You're welcome to get a sheet of paper for your notes. Thank you. That's all right. Now, I covered up a little section that talks about fractions because we're not quite there yet. So if you write anything, I would ensure you know that multiples are making numbers bigger. When a product is multiplied by any whole number, multiples can be listed in this series. So five times one, five times two. The multiples are actually this portion. Monster. Now, I'm going to move past this, and I want you to feel secure that I do have it listed over here if you want to um, notate that in a moment. Okay. We're going to just talk about what a factor is. Factors, Ella's already given us a little heads up on it. What does it mean to be a factor? What what does that actually mean, Parker? The sum is the next. Let's say one plus one equals two. That is the sum. Good. Sum is dealing with addition only. So that that's no. This is how we learn. So a product. That word product is brought in with multiplication. The answer to a fact like four times eight would be thirty-two. The thirty-two is the product. The four and the eight are the factors. So you know what? We're actually gonna be we're actually gonna be taking numbers and dissecting them today. We're gonna be like a factor ninja. We're gonna take a whole product and break them down into the individual factors. So our factor ninja, what he implies is that he chops up products. So if I had 24. He would chop it up into the factors 1 and 24, then 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. You know how a pair of shoes, how many shoes are there in a pair? Two. Two. A pair of pants. Two legs. So a, a factor pair 
you know is going to have two numbers. Today we're looking solely for a lot of factor pairs. So we're going to talk about making these factor rainbows is what this is called. All right? And I also have an anchor chart right here on factor ninja that will live around our classroom. But it's very important that you list this portion, factor times factor equals a product. I'll give you a moment to write that down. I'm still on the multiple. 